and where we're coming to right over here. Um, that's, you know, why Katie did the piece that she did earlier in this show uh, here on August 4th. If you're only watching a clip of this, you're probably going to want to go back and watch the whole show because something is coming up right over here. Let's uh, advance this again to the next uh, set of drawings here, uh, the analysis. And we're going to go here to using the information now to do projecting. So now what I've done is I've added in the uh this green uh, area here where these cycles are beginning to turn up. These are the cycle lines right over there. And this note here, strong momentum and positive timing translations. Positive configuration suggests a minor pullback followed by a test of the high. Yes, that's what we're looking for right over here is for a period where it begins to move up. Now, we learn a lot from this over here. How long does it last moving up? And what happens if it blasts through the high and can keeps going up? How high will it likely get to? What happens if it comes up here and fails and then begins to move down and gets below that low? Well, that would be certainly a negative thing. And what could influence that from coming? So right now, you can see beautiful cycle harmonics right in here and calling for this corrective period, there's that yellow zone, a small period of risk because it's here on the daily short-term chart in a upward momentum condition that still exists and the Slim Ribbon PO giving you that upward uh, view right over there. Let's just zoom in a little bit right over here so you get this picture right here of the strong configuration, strong cycle uh, translations and configurations and the call for a minor pullback in here. And you see we're having this little update in here, but we don't know if it'll hold yet. There are signs that it will and that that the low might be seen and we could be get, getting ready to move up, but we don't know that for sure. Uh, as we look in here, it might take out the lows for another couple days. You see this blue timing line that comes all the way out to, well, another three, four, five days in here uh, before we uh, are, you know, through this bottoming period. So we have to really see how this acts in here. But you get the idea as I begin to use the information for our projections. So now let's look over here at the next one. And you can see that I'm taking the projections even further out. And what I've done in here as is I've put in the Fibonacci extension lines over here that gives us an idea as to where it's potentially to move up to and find some resistances here. And I have actually three different uh, tracks in here. We'll start out looking at uh, these lower, uh, at the lower one, which would be if it just wanted to fo follow the ideal patterns that we have in here, that's this right over here. It comes up, tests, take this out a little bit, and then begins to roll over right there. You'll notice right in here that I have a, a peak right in here on the minor cycle right around mid mid-August and there's a reason for that looking at the VIX and I'm going to show you that uh, when I look at the VIX in a few minutes but this is a positive period this is calling for the stock market to begin to move up again starting either now or in a few days and then at least testing 459 on the SPY uh, and potentially getting up to this level here 466 is the next level we had shown and we showed that level before right over here is 473 in that upper track which is possible based on the formations we see in here and here's the next one right up over here at four right around 480 which in my opinion is a low probability and I'll show you why that's a low probability coming up and that the highest probabilities are that it tests this level right over here and then fails or maybe tests 466 and then begins to roll over. I'm going to show you why I think that's going to happen in a couple of minutes as I move into further in this analysis. But next what I want to do is I want to look at factoring in the cycles of longer dur duration to get the alternative projections. So I'm going to leave this chart for just a moment. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to uh, the chart of the SPY on the weekly. So uh, we're, we're going to come back to this in just a moment. And I'm going to switch over to this weekly SPY uh, right over here. So this is uh, our analysis on SPX actually.
And let's start out by just looking quickly at the bigger analysis in here. You can see these, again, these big harmonic families that are in here with the minor cycle and the dominant cycles. Right over here, looking back uh, in uh, 2022, uh, there was a period of risk here that we were looking at from January to March. And you can see that fell hard right over there. Here, looking back into uh, the later part of 2022, you can see in here the period of risk was September, October, and you got that big decline right over there. Here, it began to form a more positive pattern, but there was still a period of risk here, January to April, and you can see that it fell actually from February here down into March, and it was a little bit shorter than uh, expected and bottomed a little bit on the early side, as you can see here. <clears throat> so not, now we're entering this period of risk right over here, which is really mid-August through October. That doesn't mean it's going to fall from mid-August. It doesn't mean it's going to fall all the way to October. It is a window of time that we are looking for that can contain and likely will contain a pretty sizable correction. If you look at these corrections and the size of them, I mean, this was from 48.18 uh, down to 4,100, so 700 points. <clears throat> this was from 43.74 uh, way down over here to uh, 40 to 3,500. So that was 800 points uh, in the S&P 500. This was the bullish one from 4,190 down here to about 3,800. So that was almost 400 points on the downside in a bullish situation. And here you could see that it's reasonable to project that the peak in here right around 4,600 could take it down here to 4,300. That would only be 300 points. That's less than right over here or over here to 4,200. So these, this period of risk that we're coming to right over here, this influences our analysis that I showed you on the daily chart because it says that the projections that we have that are ideally, you know, neutral to lower are the ones that have the highest probability. And the ones that project up over here to around 4665 are a lower probability. So we still have that here on the weekly chart because, well, we still have strong momentum conditions right here. I know this is a long piece, but I, I'm letting you into my brain, letting you see the extent of this analysis that I do and all of our analysts do here at Ask Slim and why it's so important for you, if you want to learn this, to become a subscriber at Ask Slim. I'm going to keep promoting that because I think it's so important to, to you uh, and to all of our current members, of course. So this is a period in here that I'm looking at that is risky. So if I were to look at the VIX, which has been an amazing timing tool for us over the years, I'm going to look here at the side by side for a moment so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at right in here. And that is that we have a bottoming right over here in the VIX. Now the VIX popped all the way up here uh, close to about 18 this week, but is coming down. And that is actually what was expected, that we would get into a period where the market would rally again. And But this in here is the bottoming phase for the VIX, just as we believe we're in a topping phase for the market indexes. So if I blow this one up right over here, you can see there's actually, we're looking at a shorter cycle in here that actually might have made the bottom already. Uh, and uh, if not, it's that black cycle, which are bottoming right in here, which call for a bot the, that we're in a bottoming phase. Now, I want you to note that momentum on this weekly is turning up in the VIX. That is a sign that we're getting into like right over here, that rising phase in implied volatilities, right over here, the rising phase in implied volatilities. So that's what you see and we're getting the warning right over here that that is happening. When I look here at the daily right over here, you can see that, well, momentum looks like on the short term, it's turning up in the VIX. We're expecting this pullback in the VIX here and the move up into mid-August for the stock indexes. So there's this window of a likely rally for the stock market indexes right here 
But then after that, the VIX is likely to be moving up. And I'll go back to the weekly for a second. You can see in here that we're projecting VIX up into the 20s that actually might go uh, for a long period of time, uh, or maybe even up into the high 20s or even into the 30s. This one got up to about 30, and that is not ridiculous uh, if we start to get some real corrective period here uh, in the market. So uh, this is showing you that there is a very likely bottoming in implied volatilities a very important timing tool uh, looking at the VIX so now if I go back and you know these are projections that I did in my analysis on this daily SPY well now I have to start to say to myself why would I be projecting to get up to these levels when the dominant force on the weekly chart starting in one or two or three weeks is likely to prevent that so then what would the analysis be if we added in the periods of longer duration that are now negative that would look like something like this where i have brought that in and what it still shows you is that there's a period that's positive right in here we're likely to get a rally into the second or third week of august testing these levels but then we get these downward forces that are created by the weekly chart and that's why i have this yellow period of risk in here the weekly analysis period of risk is mid-august to early october and what we must see is the neck is the momentum begin to go negative that would mean that this would turn red over here the slim ribbon would cross over and be negative and on the weekly chart we would see the reversal scout as i showed begin to go negative also and our mcm the market condition monitor with which is essentially our beginning of the development of our ai has our built-in algorithms and that would begin to warn us that in the shorter term it was beginning to turn down and that this upside move in here that's expected is failing so we're using the information uh, that we have for projections we're adding in cycles of longer duration plus the VIX, VIX to get a sum of the evidence highest odds projection and that says to us that this next rally in here that we're looking for is likely to fail and then we get cycles that begin to trend on the downside if I look here at this dominant cycle right over here it tells you the timing for that next cycle trough which comes in actually around mid-October looking at this so I look at the this one it's also because they're nested comes in mid-October and that means that this correction come could be all the way out into mid-October if it would shorten up a little bit then it might be early October but that's where the risk really goes out to and they're looking at this as we have brought it all to you uh, as far as from the beginning of the analysis to where we are right now and why I have been warning that there is a period of risk in here. Now, you, you've seen in the past that, you know, strong momentum on the upside skews these. Some, sometimes they end up to be stronger than expected and it is possible that this does move up into these higher areas and then the period of risk comes in and it's a sharper downside move that doesn't last quite as long we can't be certain about that i'm using the vix timing to help me that it's around you know the second week of august maybe the third week of august that this peak is put in place and we're going to learn by how this rally develops in here and how long it lasts. So that is a very, very long piece that I brought you with the cycle analysis of, of that, that we do and how I built into it and how I come to this analysis right now that says to me that there is likely to be risk going forward. Remember, you can learn more about this. Go to the AskSlim.com website. Go to the top tabs there, and you'll see um, workshops, and you can click on Cycle Analysis Workshop, and there's a video there that gives you more information on cycle analysis, and I really encourage you to invest in the workshop uh, to learn more about this. And, of course, take advantage of the Level 4 special that we have going on right now, uh, which you can see right here. We're in our last three days, and just uh, on the top of the front page, click the Learn More button. You'll get details about that. And it's Level 4, 3, 2, and 1, everything that's included. Uh, just 
our team does a fantastic job and you're just going to learn so much uh, when you look at that and do go to if you're brand new sign up for level one if you want to just get a taste of what we do to get acquainted uh, that's just $45 for three months and you're going to get daily information on the indexes uh, that Matt uh, does amazing work on that so subscribe to our YouTube channel like this video give it a thumbs up watch our member videos in the playlists and on X follow us at Ask Slim and uh, any questions you have on what was shown to you today write to Matt at AskSlim.com or you can write to team at AskSlim.com and they will send uh, your questions to any of the appropriate analysts uh, who you uh, might have questions for.